Murhau, all aluminum, eight foot wide, 11 foot short wall with slide rear kitchen floor plan shown today in a three horse configuration. You can scale the horse area up and down. This one built with a rear side ramp load, which is kind of different, kind of cool. I think that's a really neat way to give you the benefits of a mid tack without actually adding extra length, weight, and cost to a trailer. These things are sharp. This is a pointed well. I'm very impressed with how this is put together. Let's see what she offers you inside. One of the things I really liked here is even though this has a big deep slide and a big L-shaped kitchen counter, you can still walk through the entire trailer when the slide out's closed. So if you are making those long distance travel stops or if you just need to be able to, you know, access the RV to get packed up before a big event or just an extended trail ride for the weekend, you have the ability to get up to the bed, you can get to the sink, the microwave, the refrigerator, the bathroom. You can access every darn thing on this without ever having to touch that slide out button. Really, from the moment I stepped inside here, I just had a really good, like, ooh, nice. Like, it's got a good, solid kind of feeling. And the more I investigated, the more it supported that theory. So, again, in this layout, we are 8 foot wide. We have an 11 foot short wall. We have a sofa slide here. We can see that in all kinds of different configurations. But you can see how it's like a cinema-style sofa with that fold-down center armrest. That's something that Murhau is now switching over to just about the time of this filming. But... Uh, there's extra storage below that, there's storage above, you can see how all of our windows open for breeze, uh, or you can pull down those pleated shades, but also, this is all hardwood work. There is no lumber core with a sticker wrap used. Even these window trims, the window rings, the cabinet doors being raised panel, if you uh, lift these up, you can feel back here, you can feel the pocket screw and there is no sticker wrap. This is all true hardwood jobs, even the slide fascia. Uh, the interior package gives us those little soft touch inserts like on the slide fascia just to kind of spark up that good look to it. And you might have noticed that is an extra deep slide out. So it gives this thing a very big open feel. Um, you'll find that our flooring does not have any sort of vents through it. However, a very important aspect of Murhau flooring is the fact that uh, the, uh, the extruded aluminum plank flooring that we see back in the horse area it does extend all the way under this floor. This is a built up subfloor on top of an all aluminum floor. And I wanna point that out because it's the kind of thing that you can't see and it's the kind of thing that many, not all, but many brands don't do that. It's one of the things that we really like in the Living Quarter Horse Trailer brands that we carry here at Halo Horse Trailers. And I tell you what too, they just did a dynamite job of storage around this thing. You can see that's a hanging closet over there. There's little storage pockets all the way around the bed, another hanging closet. Kind of helps give a little bit of privacy, but as we come up here, I want to take note of that headboard. You see that you've got that nice deep recessed headboard, alarm clocks, phones, with uh, household outlets on both sides of that thing. So you've got great places for things uh, like, well, you could actually have a CPAP machine beside your mattress up there. There's plenty of room up in that gooseneck with big breeze windows. The TV, you see, does pivot out. That can swing around to face the uh, upper gooseneck area. And right away, right when you walk in, like I said, that idea of having lots of storage starts right here. What I like about this one is it's it's a nice tall place. Like if you need a little broom to sweep some stuff up or anything like that, you can. You can put some shelf organizers in it, but you see that it is a hanging closet storage area. Now, as we work our way up here, like even this uh, you know entertainment stand, even that is a nice slab of hardwood. The cabinetry in here, I'm very impressed with the construction of this. They have their own in-house cabinet shop at Murhau. They control in-house, regulate everything so that there's no finger pointing. There's no like, well, we got it from a supplier. You know, God forbid you ever need uh, a warranty thing from Murhau. You need some kind of work. You call one person. Well, you can call Halet RV here and, you know, we will take care of every single customer that we work with, obviously. Um, but the uh, the fact is, when we call Murhau, or if you call Murhau, that's it. You don't have to call multiple different vendors. You just give them a ring and that's all there really is to it. And how about the fact that this is uh, a jackknife storage sofa. A lot of brands will just say, well, you can lift the sofa up to get to the storage. But they went the extra mile here in their next generation living quarters to give you the drawers for even easier access. So you never have to go lifting and flipping stuff around. And whether it's for guests or perhaps unruly husbands, we do have the large, simple flip down jackknife sofa. And it folds down pretty darn flat. Especially if you want to put a little foam topper on that. It'd be, uh, you know, it'd, it'd get you through the night or a weekend for sure. 
especially with the slide out in here, like if somebody is sleeping on the sofa and you want to get up and make yourself some coffee, they're not in the way like they are in a seven foot no slide living quarter. Again, uh, we've got pleated night privacy shades all around. These are all pleated air, pardon me, these are all tinted airflow windows. And then just the little things like continuing to do the storage overhead in the slide. That kind of stuff makes a big difference. Now, part of the interior package, like when you start picking up these extra mirrors here, it looks pretty, but it also makes the whole uh, coach look and feel larger. Gas, electric, traveler's fridge, so that if you are going to go off the grid, you still have the ability to keep your drinks and your food cool. And over here, uh, part of one of the packages that we've applied, it does upgrade to that convection microwave oven, which you know, it lets you actually do some baking, some quick cooking, and it introduces less heat into the uh, living area here. And once again, if we look a little deeper, you see a couple things I really like. And again, Merhau's not the only one that does this, but I like that they do it. They include uh, in every one of their coaches this handy little list. Every appliance, every model number, every serial number is easily located right there. So let's say, God forbid, it's this convection microwave oven up here, that huge residential size convection microwave. Or if it's this little stove top or the fridge or anything, you could call any service facility and say, here's my model number and here's what I need. You don't have to go like, to get the model number of that stove, you have to actually remove the stove. Except not in a Murhau, where they gave you that model number in a list. Now this uh, rear kitchen slide model here, I love what they did in this kitchen. This is an awesome kitchen. Like It's got the beautiful high gloss countertops, but notice how that material goes all the way up to back and side splashes. And you've got some easy reach appliance outlets. So back to that coffee maker I talked about, if you wanna wake up and, and get some Folgers in your cup or whatever. Um, wow, that's an old commercial, isn't it? But uh, the fact is you've got an easy place to reach that and some USB plugs. Now, there's a couple different um, stool configurations. We've optioned this one with the nice uh, Merhau emblazoned high back stools. There are a set of simple bar stools you can get with it too, but the look of this is just outstanding. And then sometimes it's not how much something costs, it's how useful it is. Putting the little button buckle on here to keep that chair in place in transit and to keep it from bouncing around so it's not going to, uh, you know, chatter and wiggle and, and bang against things to get all scarred up. Little things like that have a big impression with a guy like me. Um, we're a very service-oriented dealership, so I like to see things like that. I like to see better materials like all hardwood use. I like to see stainless sinks uh, here in the kitchen and the bathroom. Our drawer construction is absolutely fantastic. The full plywood boxing and the ball bearing glides in here, they're all great. This is a very, very high-end coach. Another thing I don't want to skip over because it is kind of easy to miss is this is a soft touch with the uh, um, interior package on it, so that will very greatly reduce the amount of noise that you're going to get up here, especially if you got a couple horses that are talking to the, the neighboring horses at an event next door. And that trend continues back here through the bathroom as well. Um, here in the bathroom, you've got a sliding privacy door. So you do have the ability to fully enclose this off. And you can see down here, we have a porcelain bowl, foot flush stool. As we scroll our way up, we've got a max air vent fan up here so that uh, you want to get some good airflow going after that shower, you absolutely can. And a very, like, uh, well-appointed bathroom. I love the way this is laid out. That's a massive medicine cabinet up there because this has a 7'6 tall interior. All Merhau uh, goosenecks are going to be 7'6 tall inside. They don't do any 7'2 funky nonsense. Even on a, a more production point price model, they're going to be 7'6 inside. Now, the big counter here in that stainless sink, you know, it's an adult size sink, but I've got a big counter space where I can actually get my hands in there. And this is a seamless one-piece fiberglass shower. You don't have to worry about any sort of seams or any water can snake through. And being 7'6 tall, even if you're bigger than the average bear like me, you're going to have plenty of headroom in there. And then once again, these beautiful hardwood cabinet doors that we're looking at hide yet another big closet space. That's another thing I like about this layout. It is packed full of storage. Like, the area I really noticed it is... I've seen a lot of brands will have a cabinet by the door here. I've seen a lot of brands will have like one extra hanging closet here. But all of that overhead wraparound cabinet space, every little nook and cranny, there's just not an ounce of space gone to waste here in a Murhau. We are also looking at multiple exterior upgraded features here on this 8311 rear kitchen here at Haylet Trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, one of the biggest ones is the exterior package. The thing is though, 
Um, it, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and break down every single nut, bolt, and widget on this because that stuff is all available either through online resources. We can get you literature. If you want to be that detail-oriented, no sweat. I want to kind of point out some of the neat little high points that you just don't always find somewhere else. So the uh, uh, second exterior uh, leveling jack here, what I like about these twin jacks is that they're individually controlled. So if the trailer is parked on a little bit of wacky unlevel ground, you can side to side level it with that, which is a really handy feature. Also, anytime you get a spare tire, you get this jiffy jack. And I, I think this is, this to me was one of the most like awesome things like, wow, these people really care. So let's say, God forbid, you're heading to your next event or you're coming back from the vet or whatever and you blow a tire because of road debris because they're using good tires on these and they're using very heavy duty torsion rubber ride axles on these to give you a smooth ride and to keep your horses from getting jarred around in there but flat tires can happen so what that jiffy jack does you can uh drive the good tire up onto that jiffy jack it'll elevate the bad tire that you can exchange and that thing is solid it is heavy duty it's not a cheaper plastic one uh, so what all that means to me is if I'm on the side of the interstate and I lose a tire, I don't have to unload my trailers to get enough weight off of it to use a jack. That thing is heavy duty. I can keep my horses inside where it's safe. I don't have to worry about some idiot blowing their horn when they go by me as I'm changing a tire. And uh, I don't have to worry about my horses like getting into traffic and some terrible tragedy happening as a result. This is a trailer that was built, like I've talked everything about how you, the owner, are going to like it so far. But this is actually a trailer that's built with the horse in mind first. And that I really, really like because we actually are horse people here at Halet Trailers too. Now we do a lot of RV stuff, but we are very much in tune with the, the horse trailer uh, lifestyle and more than one of our folks are horse trailer enth or horse enthusiasts themselves. Now anywhere that you see like the, the base chassis right here, the base steel chassis where this is exposed, it has a full like truck bed liner sprayed onto it, even here on the coupler so that you're not going to have to worry. But other than that, we have an all aluminum skeleton, all aluminum skin, and that's just how they do things. And remember that heavy duty interlocked extruded plank aluminum flooring that we'll see back in the horse area, it extends under the living area. The uh, slide you can see very deep and has that slide protective cover on it. That does a couple things for you. It's going to help shade the slide to keep the cool, uh, you know, keep the heat cooler in it. Absolutely no different than how you would sit under the power awning over on the uh, the main side of the trailer. It'll also just reduce care maintenance and upkeep required. Now, all of our head side windows here are all drop windows. You can see how even that escape door has the drop window. You can drop the gate separately if you're so inclined. Eight wide models, standard, will have a, uh, a manger set up here. The size can potentially vary depending on uh, the way that you load here. On a conventional rear load, it'll be a 24 inch deep manger. Here on a side load, they drop that to an 18 inch manger, uh, which so that you have a little more maneuvering room inside of the trailer uh, to uh, get those horses kind of maneuver around and outside. And then there's a little thing here, a safety item that I picked up on right away that I think a lot of people are gonna miss. Count up the tail lights. They have four vertical long strip LED brake lights. So they have two mounted low and two mounted high. So no matter where the person behind you is looking, they're gonna see it. And this I think is very cool. The side ramp load system here, it gives us basically the benefits of a walk through middle tack without adding at least three feet to the trailer, which means a lot of extra length, weight, and money that you will not have to worry about here. And just like anything else, it's in a, a fully removable saddle tree. You can kind of manipulate that around where you want. And that extra large flip down plank, you notice there's one of those for the main uh, like living area entry door. There's one back here. And the one in front of the escape door is optional, but you can bet your backside that's the kind of thing we're gonna do here at Halet Trailers to make life simple and easy on you. Another key thing that we see used a ton in the RV industry that you don't see used as much in the horse trailer business, and I'm glad to see it here, is this composite wall paneling right here. Like you look at it, you're like, what are you talking about? It's a normal felt lined wall. It's not. This is a composite material. It's a pla it's it's a resin basically. It's a plastic. The material itself is lighter weight than like wood paneling. It cannot rot, mold, or mildew in the event of water exposure. It's it's effectively it's like 80% melted pop bottles. We're very familiar with this stuff. I was quite surprised, pleasantly slow, so to see it used here in the horse trailer business. Now another thing on the side ramp load, 
I've seen a few different attempts at these. This is easily one of the wider side ramp uh, entry uh, systems I've seen out here. I'm very happy with how big and easy that is. Kind of like a 60-40 split on a rear door. And if you take note, if you actually grab a tape measure and you measure how wide the loading door is here compared to the 60-40 entry uh, rear door on that Merhau up there, they measure the same. They made sure that you can walk in right next to your horse. This is safer for horse and rider. You never have to take your hands off your animal. And then little detail things, like uh, the little anti-slip stuff that they have going on here, how they extended that up and over to help protect those hinges, to help keep dirt, debris, and everything else from getting in those hinges and causing issues. You know, it's, it's just those extra little details. Now, like I said, you have uh, heavy-duty interlocking extruded plank flooring. Um, that stuff is absolutely awesome. If you've ever seen a sample of this when it's split apart, basically like every inch, there's a miniature I-beam supporting this under the floor, plus all the other uh, floor structure going on under this. I, you could, I mean, you could load a Jeep in here. You're never going to overload this floor. You see that front uh, stall stud curtain right there. One of the things I like about this, I should have talked about it when I was over here by the escape door. Let me get up here. They use not a cam bar, not a, one of those big lock bar on uh, locks on the outside. They use more of like a camper lock door, just like you see here on the pass-through. The reason I like that is if there was a cam bar on that door, and let's say you weren't using this front stall with your stud wall as a horse stall. Let's say you were using it as a stuff wall instead of a stud wall. If you're at an event and there's that one little puke whose parents never bothered keeping an eye on them, unfortunately, and you step in here, they could lock that cam bar behind you and they could theoretically lock you into your uh, horse trailer area. Uh, especially if you don't have that pass-through door unlocked. Now, I'm sure you'd find a way to crawl out a window and make something happen, but it could be a real pain in the neck, and you might be banging on the side going, Hey, somebody come help me! But because of that deadbolt there that's accessible on the inside, you never, never, never have to worry about that. Now, the horse area package is going to give us these really extreme... I mean, those are massive LED lights. You've got one of them per stall. So, three-horse trailer, you've got three here. On, uh, I mean, it, it is bright, especially with like this is fully lined. This is insulated. There are some brands that are putting lined and not insulated roofs out there. Now, here's another thing I really want to look at these mangers. Remember, on a side load, we have 18 inch mangers, not 24s. The fact that they put this nice little radius tubing right on the edge here, especially I know some folks to get maximum airflow, they'll leave that gate down, the horse's head might be sticking out going down the road. Well, they're leaning right against this. Their windpipe, you know, their breastplate is right against this thing. And I'm not saying that a more square edge like that, I don't think it's going to cut your horse, but you could, they could start rubbing uh, sore spots on there, especially when they're, when they're going down the road, they're constantly leaning back and forth as wind pressure moves the trailer around and etc. This will keep your horse from getting those little sore spots. And it's, it's the little extra details like that on these Murhau trailers that I really, really appreciate. Because like I said, they have the horse in mind first and then they just happen to also build a dynamite living area now you've got a heavy duty reinforced kick wall but remember that uh like truck bed coating that we saw up on the gooseneck coupler they do a a, a 0.1 inch thickness of that stuff on here as well which is extremely thick and going to be very good at resisting like if they're if you know if your horses are shod so that they don't uh you know dig up the walls or anything like that the uh extruded uh paneling on the side here. God, it just gives it a good look. And I know that, like, I grew up, we did speed events, barrel racing, things like that. We didn't stall our horses. They were just tied to the side of the horse trailer for most of the day. And every now and then, they'd just kind of be like, hey, somebody pay attention to me or feed me or whatever, and they'd bang against the side of the trailer. And that prevents a lot of potential damage on the side over here. And once again, you can see how over here on the rump side, the uh, uh, drop windows there. Now, obviously, on our slide open or our swing open door, that is just an airflow window. But they do the drop windows whenever they can. Also, you get an awning on a Murhau, you get a power awning. That's all they do. They don't do awning A and awning B. They make sure that everything is simple and easy to get some shade on that sunny day at your next event. And it's 12 volt battery operated. So if you're off grid, the double batteries that we've optioned out in the front here give you plenty of power to be able to use lights, fans, awnings, whatever you want. You've got full length LED lighting at the base. This has an auto rain dump. It has a manual tilt adjust feature. 
It just does anything and everything you're going to need it to do. So whether it's that little Jiffy Jack spare tire thing, all the little horse uh, focused items like the little round bar that, like I said, rests on their windpipe in the mangers, everything on this. This is exceptionally well planned, executed, and extremely well built. And what I like is I just don't tend to see them back in our service shop. That's what I like about them. So if you like what you see, give us a call. We only do everything here at Halo Horse Trailers. Hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, trailer delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy trails, everyone.